y'all this is Corey Maria and today I'm going to be telling you guys what's on my iPad I have the sixth generation iPad that came out I think in 20 hold on let me search that up real quick came out in 2018 I've had this since my sophomore year it's basically the budget iPad um it was originally I think about 300 300 dollars and some change I must say like I've had no problems out of it little to none um, you know you have hiccups here and there but for the most part I've honestly I don't have any complaints about it this iPad is doing perfectly well for me I'll show you guys the case I got this case from Amazon it's a really cool slim durable case it's leather on the inside if I open it up you've got the pencil and then you've got the iPad yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get right into this i'm not trying to waste any time a lot of you guys ask what apps i use this is basically a run through of what i use so without further ado let's get into the video okay so basically if you go into my ipad go and open it up you can see that i don't have many pages on my ipad it's pretty simple so we can start off with the calendar this is basically my gmail calendar synced with my apple calendar i really don't use this apple calendar but anything that you see in here is from my gmail calendar um facetime Let me get that out the way how do i get the names out the way Y'all can see me on FaceTime. Looking crusty and dusty, but. Um, and then go into photos. I would just basically use my photos to screenshot like uh, schoolwork and like images that I might need. Um, I also use it for thumbnails, things of that nature um, that I need along the way. Camera, here we go. All right, so we got the camera. Y'all already know what the contacts app looks like, clock, um, then I got the maps, notes. Yeah, I have so many different notes, but I don't use this for anything other than keeping track of, let's say like grocery lists, just simple stuff that I think of and I'll just keep in here. Um, reminders, um, then you got the app store, settings, uh, voice memos, I use this a lot for when I'm like recording lectures that I can play on my iPad and listen back to. Then I have find my devices, now I got my Bible app, So Notability is by far the most important app on my iPad. So I'm gonna take y'all through like a quick little rundown of Notability. So these are my winter 2019 classes, my fall 2018, fall 2019, and winter 2020. I'm gonna take y'all through winter 2020 since it was the most recent. Okay, so basically this is how I took notes throughout the year. Something that's really cool about Notability is that you can search. So let's say we want to search for interstitial and it'll like search out my handwriting. Like, so keyword interstitial, it'll find where I wrote interstitial and highlight it and tell me all the pages that has that word on it. The fact that it's able to kind of read your handwriting, I think that that's an awesome feature that Notability has. And then something that's also interesting is that I could, um, record my teacher's lectures so i would record i would do voice recording right here i'm not gonna like play it for y'all but like if you like scrub through you can see how i was writing wh when i was writing and what i was writing um when she was saying certain things so i think that that's really that's a really dope feature see and then when I would go back and replay this, I could see like when she would say something that I didn't necessarily write down, I could go and write it down. This was a professor who didn't necessarily record her slides or record her lectures, so this made my life a lot easier. We're just gonna get into the school stuff, which I know that y'all are here for. So I'm gonna start off with Google Calendar. Um, this is primarily what I use to keep myself organized. This is basically what my calendar looks like during a regular school year. It's crazy, it's insane. I use it to submit reminders of like tasks to do for the day. So I got three reminders here. 
I had a meeting with Allison. I reviewed the homework solutions and I started my 514 homework on top of everything that I had to do this specific day. So I had lecture upon lecture. Then I had three reminders that I had to do before my work was done for the day. Using Google reminders is a good way to stay on top of my work and kind of like hold myself accountable for reaching my uh, milestones for the day. That's pretty much it for my calendar app. I still use that, but yeah, not nearly as much as I did during the school year. So next up is, then we're going into my drive. So my drive is basically where I keep all of my documents. These are all of my folders. So I have a folder for Notability, which is all of these different folders for my um, subjects for school. So let's try 335. So this was just a class that I just got out of. So these are the notes that I took in Notability and they automatically downloaded into Google Drive, which I think is really cool because as soon as I write them, they're able to be downloaded. So basically it keeps track of all of my notes that I do take for specific classes, organizes them according to the lecture number that I give them. Whatever I put in Notability, it automatically downloads to this particular folder, which I think is really cool. Um, and then going back, I have a lot more other folders for different extracurriculars or different classes okay so y'all already know how slides is i just use that for school um youtube what who was i watching this hold up y'all i don't know how i got on that video but anyways so then i got my gmail app so i use that specifically for school and then i got my michigan app so what this is is so you log on and they tell you what your upcoming classes are any announcements, your class schedule, um, say winter 2020. So basically this was my schedule this past year. Um, and they would tell me when I had a class on what specific day. They tell you the deadlines, the events coming up, news, different featured apps. And then you got the M Life tab where they show you um, just some dining halls recreation buildings that might be open around campus and then they got crime alerts parking bus stops um, after hours transit you can search and then you got your settings that's pretty much all that app entails this is a pretty useful app um, and then I have Dropbox I really don't use this anymore um, box that's an app I used to see my test scores when I used to be in those large intro classes and I'm not even logged in so and then I have Quizlet where I'm able to go in and make different note cards for different classes. And then Canvas, this is the main app that I use on this iPad for school stuff. So I got all my classes here. Um, this is usually the app that I use the most often. And it literally has my grades, my assignments. I turn in assignments through this app. This is, this is the heart of my online or just basically my school and experience. Um, Canvas is very important and then I have the imprint mobile so when I'm on campus and I want to print at a, a campus building and I got Google Docs, Desmos, I basically use it for a graphing calculator and then I got tiny facts in case I want to fax anything but I haven't faxed anything in a while so I gotta update that then Acrobat when I want to read things. And then I got my calculator right here. It's overall a great app. I don't have any problems with it. If you go sideways, it turns into like a full on scientific calculator. So it's, it's really great. You can graph with it. And I got my Google Chrome um, lab archives. It's basically an electronic lab notebook. So when I was in lab this past semester, I did a lot of, uh, a lot of lab work as you would assume. And I kept all of my stuff in here. And then I have Excel and Word. Now going on to the next folder. I have all of my Adobe Office stuff, so I got my Photoshop, Creative Cloud, Adobe Draw, Premiere Rush, Capture, Fresco, Scan, and then Behance. The apps that I use most regularly would probably be Adobe Fresco um, because I like to draw my thumbnails and kind of make them as personalized as possible. So that's pretty much how I do that. I got some drawings in the making on there. And Adobe Scan, I use to scan documents into PDF. See, it's, it's looking for a document. And once it scans those documents, the document automatically uploads to Acrobat. Um, I don't really use Premiere Rush. I'm starting to learn how to use Photoshop. I use Adobe Draw a little bit and Capture, I don't really use at all. So entertainment, 
Um, I have the Xfinity Stream, Netflix, Kindle, Target, and Amazon. If I want to watch a movie, I just do so on my TV. So this is only when I'm when I'm like traveling and I don't need something to do or something to look at. Um, and then I have my creativity folder, um, sketchbook. This is where a lot of my thumbnails have come from. So let's see. So this app is pretty much how I've created a lot of my thumbnails. It's an amazing app. I say download it if you get the chance. It's free. Um, it's comparable to Procreate and Adobe Draw. So, I mean, you're not wasting any money if you buy it. Um, and then my uh, my Canva. This is this is my app. This is the app that I use to create all of my thumbnails. But this is what I create my school projects on. I create my um, thumbnails on. Like since the beginning, you guys, this app has been used for a ton. Y'all can see we go way back, way, way, way back. Y'all know these videos back to the natural hair journey video. Like, we not new to this, we true to this. But anyways, um, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up my iPad. I've gone through each of my school apps, my Adobe app, my entertainment apps, my creativity. It's pretty simple when it comes to my iPad. I, I use this strictly for school and business purposes. So it's not going to have any social media on it. I try to keep social media and games off of it because it only distracts me. And I think that's a really good tip. If you have an iPad, make sure you keep all those games, all that social media off of it. Um, if you're only using it for school because those can be a very, very big distraction. All right, y'all. So that was pretty much a rundown of everything that I have on my iPad. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, make sure you subscribe because we on the road to 2K. Okay, please subscribe, please. And give this video a big like because it helps my videos out a lot when you guys like them. Yeah, and I will see you guys in the next one.